Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Marsha with Buy, Sell, Plan. In today's video, I'm going to do a flip of my binder and explain where or share where um, inserts are from and things like that. I get asked a lot of questions. So I figured it's time I do a detailed flip. Um, so this is my flip as of the month of October, my setup for October. So I will be changing dashboards and accessories, things like that, um, as you know, that I do each month. So this was my setup for October and I just love it. I've loved it. I've just loved it the whole month. Um, all right, so let's start with, let's see here. So first of all, this is the Anna binder by Franklin Covey. It's the compact size and it's in the black. They do still have the black. I also have this binder in the sailor blue and the um, pale pink Anna, um, but the only one they have left is the black and it is a gorgeous binder. Okay, so these sticky notes are from cloth and paper. So I just have them in here. I do like them, they fall down, but my intention is for them to stick out like that. So I remember that they're there. Quick inbox stickers, which I use just for, just quick, um, if I have to, you know, when I'm on the go through the day, if I had to do a quick email or, um, you know, just quick little tasks. I'll just write them down on here and then just put them in my, my schedule for the day. And that way I just do them when I get to my computer. Have a few business cards. I have only have one left. I showed quite a few houses this past weekend, so I used a lot. Okay, so I have business cards in there. This comes with me everywhere, so that's why I have the business cards. I just have various stickers from different shops. So these are from Papery Planning. And what I love about these is that they are custom. So these say follow up and these say 411 meeting. And I have some that say listing appointment, buyer appointment, um, and I have them in the script, but I also have them printed. That's what you would call it. So I just have a couple in here for, I don't use them all the time, but every now and then I, I wanna use a sticker. And then I ordered from Paper Panda stamps. I ordered from Paper Panda, um, another business card there, these succulent circles. They're just gorgeous. So I, I ordered a lot of these because this, this color palette is totally me. So I ordered a lot of those. And then I did order, I don't know, was it like a surprise or a, a random... I don't remember what it was. It may have been even for Black Friday last year. Like I don't 100% remember, but it was a whole bunch of samples. So I've got these important and to-dos. I haven't used them yet, but I just figured, you know, when I'm on the go and if I get the, if I want, if I feel like using stickers, I've got those there. These are from Happy Planner, just various Happy Planner sticker books I've collected over the years. So the TVs, the cameras, um, I use these for like if I'm filming for work. And then these are for obviously TV shows um, and then laundry stickers. And then these are more for, I use for like email, if I have to send an email or, you know, spend a fair amount of time on email. So just a few stickers there. And then these are from Sweet Caress. And not as relevant now as they were during the pandemic for Zoom meetings, but I still do Zoom meetings, just not, not a lot like, like I did before. And then these are from the Paper Test Designs and Hey Planner Girl collab that they did, I think it was earlier this year. Um, so I, yeah, I just printed a bunch of these. I love these cards. I want to think of different ways to use them. So they're just a whole bunch of different, um, like, like this one's a recipe one. That's more like a library card, which I thought was... Just so, you know, so cool, kind of vintage. And this is like a weekly one. You'll see I have a couple in here. I'll show you as, as we do the flip. So just keep those in the front pocket just to have on hand, mainly for on the go planning. When I'm home, I'll dig into my my stash and use, use what I have in there. This here is a paper doily and it came with, um, it's from Amazon, like I have. I'll have it linked below everything as much as I can. I'll have linked below for you. But um, so I have this vintage, vintage like paper pack and paper doilies came with it. So this is one of them. 
of the paper doilies came with that. And I just like how it peeks out in my planner. Okay, so this here is a cat journaling card. It's from Jane's Agenda. It was in the October themed subscription box. I just love it. Love it. I think I put that in there. My task cards are from Poi and Hun. I recently did a video on this on how I made these myself with my label maker. I was in um, task cards from Crafty Brina, which were etched, but they just weren't really visible. Uh, so I wanted something that was more visible. So that is these. I'll link that video below too if you'd like to see how I made those, but the cards themselves are from Poi and Hun. Um, this here is a freebie from Crafty Brina when I got my, I'll show you my um, dividers in here. So this is an etched pumpkin. So you can see, like, it's so pretty, like just the detail, right? It's just gorgeous, but it's not really, it doesn't really stand out. Um, I just love her stuff so much. So that's what the task cards looked like. It was, it's etched, but not white if that kind of makes sense and this also came in the September September or no sorry October theme subscription box from Jane's Agenda I put a spell on you I love that just you know dress my planner up each month so this is the October October theme same with this dashboard this vellum dashboard I love the branches the black paper clip also came from Jane's Agenda this was in the subscription box so these you cannot buy on her site um the planner charm where is that from hang on a second should be able to find it for you because i kept the package okay it is in here it is from pen paper and plans and it came with an extra one of these little guys in case it breaks right? Because that's what, how it stays on the paper clip. So I guess in case that breaks, I mean, it looks pretty sturdy, but it's nice to have an extra one just in case. So pen, paper, and plans are where they're from. I ordered two. I also ordered one for my classic uh, Franklin Covey planner. These plastic thingies I also got off Amazon. I will link those below for you as well. And it's just good to hold all the little, you know, little, little things. Okay. This dashboard came with the October theme subscription box. Just so gorgeous. I absolutely love Jane's Agenda's vibe. Okay. And so this is a personal wide, personal wide inserts in a Franklin Covey classic binder. And so... The Jane's Agenda sub box does not have personal wide. So I order my sub box in half letter, unpunched. And then I trim them down and punch them myself so that they can fit in my personal, sorry, in my, yeah, personal wide, fit with the personal wide inserts that I have in here. I like the personal wide because um, the Franklin Covey are too small. Oh, that's another, I'm getting off track here. <laughs> I can do another video on that if you guys would like. I made this on Canva, my fall themed mood board. Love that. And it just pairs so well with the um, October themed. This is from Franklin Covey. This, uh, is it? No, I think this might be from Cloth and Paper. I ordered this from Cloth and Paper and um, they do Franklin Covey. It's either personal size or Franklin Covey compact. Ah, I'm so sorry, you guys. Okay, let me, I have some personal wide. I have some personal sized inserts from cloth and paper. Okay, so personal is more narrow than Franklin Covey Classic. No, Franklin Covey Compact. So you can see it's just a little bit wider. So, but I'm pretty sure I got this from cloth and paper. I'll have to verify that for you. There's no cloth and paper or logo or anything on there. It could have been Franklin Covey as well. I'll verify. And then I just printed off pictures using my selfie printer. This is from Sterling Ink. It came in the October subscription kit. 
little pumpkin and the coffee stain. It's just so, so perfect for fall. I love, and it comes with vellum, like it comes already on the vellum. And with the vellum, with the subscription kit, it comes in eight and a half by 11, which is really cool. So you can use one for one size and then another for another size if you have another size planner. This is from Crafty Brina, and this is one of her etched um, dashboards. And it is, I don't know if you can see that because the back, that's the thing with the etched, unless you have a really dark background, you can't really see, but it says just because, um, just lean, no, gosh, just leave me be in amongst the flowers, the birds and the bees. And it's just all these beautiful flowers etched. So that pumpkin freebie that I showed you here came with these came with this order so I ordered two dashboards this bookmark and another bookmark I'll show you but um so I just have that there and my dashboards with the tabs I made these myself on Canva the tabs are from Amazon I will link those below and they're just you know little tabs they, there's different sizes and different colors I just love these these colors for fall and I use my label maker and labeled them myself Okay, this little paper, I don't know if it's a paper clip, what's it called, a book dart. These are from, I bought them from Franklin Covey, or like the Franklin Planner website, but I'm sure you can buy them on other sites too. But they're, what I like about them is they're flat, so they don't bulk up your planner. I use them as bookmarks um, in my books too. So those are called book darts. So I have that there. This here was a freebie. From Queen City Designs, an order that I did a long time ago. And I just love the butterfly. It's kind of, it goes with my vintage vibe. This is a Paper Test Designs Hey Planner Girl. This was one of those cards. Um, it came with their home management bundle. I believe it's called the home management bundle. I'll link it below as well. But it came with these really cool um, cards. And this one is self-care. So I have this in, in the section that's for me. And this is about my... It's like personal. So I've got some health stuff in here and other things. So this is from Jane's Agenda, this beautiful um, vellum dashboard. I cut it down. It did not come like this. It came, this was half letter and I trimmed it down to fit in here because I just needed to have one in here. And again, Jane's Agenda does not do personal wide. So um, this came in her menstruation. Um, What's it called? Menstruation uh, tracker, for lack of better words. Let me see. Yeah. Jane's Agenda Menstruation Trackers. So that came with that. So I just layered it with this dashboard that I also made on Canva. Like these reminders. Remember to breathe, hydrate, journal, eat whole foods, and get proper sleep. I put all of those in there because those are my, my main things that I need to focus on. Okay, and this is one of those um, cards from Paper Test Designs, Hey Planner Girl. I got this idea from somebody on Instagram. I forget, oh gosh, I forget who it is, but I just loved it. It's like a recipe for self-care. And then I just filled it in based on what I need. And it's just a nice reminder in my, um, in my binder. And then underneath is, this was the, it's from Jane's Agenda, the August subscription box. I just loved the flowers. Put yourself at the top of your to-do list every day. I figured that was really perfect for my personal kind of wellness section in here. And this teeny tiny rose gold paper clip came in, um, I think it may have been that subscription box. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, it's so cute. Um, this is from, oh, I made this myself. <laughs> so I made this myself on Canva. I didn't fill in October's appointments. I probably should have, but this is just a, an appointment log. And even though I have them in my calendar and then I transfer them to my paper schedule, uh, it's just nice to have an overview of how many appointments I'm, I have in a given month. Um, I did all these appointments, I just didn't check them off, but that's what the appointment log is for. This came in a Jane's Agenda subscription box. I think it may have been the August one, I don't remember, but oh, I just love the color. It's a Selma Hayek quote, so pretty. Health log, I use it for my cycle, but I mean, health log can be used for anything. Um, I made this myself on Canva, nice and simple. 
Um, so I put the date here and then beside it, I just put what day of my cycle I was on. This was September and I just kind of lost track, but that's what that, that's what I use that for. Doctor's appointments. Again, I made this myself. I like to keep track of, um, when I go on appointment, cause it's kind of like, what did I talk about at that appointment? Did I bring this up? Did I bring that up? Were my questions answered? That sort of thing. So this just helps me, you know, have it in one spot. And then doctor information. This is from Paper Test Designs and Hey Planner Girl. Came with that home management bundle. I made this myself, my reading slash podcast log. And so the title of the podcast, um, author, start date, end date, or it could be for a book, whatever. And then a rating, a one to five. And then what the book or the podcast was. Yeah, so I made those myself. And these... Um, are from SM Plants. These are, um, she does like seasonal florals. This may have been like a summer one. I don't know what year, but I just liked them. They're pretty and they're totally my colors. So I bought them. Very inexpensive. I don't remember exactly how much, but when you print them out, you get a lot. You can do grid, you can do the line paper. So this one is the line paper and it's just paper that I just use to take notes. This came in the October themed Jane's Agenda subscription box. Love, oh, I love this. This I could use um, right up until Christmas because it's not Halloween specific, but it certainly pairs well with the bats. Okay, this was, um, this here is also SM Plans. Okay, I have since made my own just because with SM plans, I order personal wide and I follow her instructions to a T to print them out and they always print out too big. See how it like it's cut off. So anyways, this is the other bookmark from Crafty Brina. So pretty. So I just put that in here because I'm going to be starting a no spend. Well, since the, my planner conference, I've been on a no spend, but I have to follow, like I have to do it right at the beginning of a month. Yes, well, I was kind of on a no spend because then I went to Nova Scotia and then I hit up a planner, uh, like a stationery shop in Halifax. Pretty hard. So, <laughs> um, so this will be for um, November, December. I made these myself on Canva. Um, and you know me, my favorite color is pink. So, um, and I, I put the dates in them. SM Plans does one and I use hers quite a few times and I love them. So I did get this idea from her. So give full credit to her. I did not come up with this look myself. Um, I did adjust it a little bit. So I just did um, grid on the back just to take notes um, through the month on my journey. And I left this blank up here. I didn't put no spend because this could be used for anything. Let's say I want to do a 30 day yoga challenge or um, like a habit, you know, that I want to track just for 31 days, you know, um, that type of thing, but also for no spend. So that's why that's blank and then I can letter that myself with like a Tombow marker or with stickers or whatever. Um, so nice and simple. So I have a couple of those. Um, this is from Cloth and Paper, the executive style note taking. I love these. The paper is amazing. So I have lots of those and Cloth and Paper does do personal wide. Another dashboard that I made on Canva. This here is from that Paper Test Designs and Hey Planner Girl collab. And this is in my CEO section because I figured, so I put in here tasks that I've delegated just to keep track of what I've delegated and to who. Um, you can see I haven't used it yet. Paper clips I got at my planner conference. I couldn't tell you where they're from. Um, this came in the Jane's Agenda subscription box. You might be able to, if you watch my video on my planner haul, I did a haul from, I'll link it below to make it easy for you to find on everything that I got from the planner conference from like I went to a shop. So what I purchased at the shop, what I purchased at the planner conference, and then what we got for free. So these will likely be in there so that you can see where they're from, but it's, um, it's like a pumpkin and it was like a tree. Really cute. Okay. And again, this is from Amazon. This is the vintage paper. So some of it, I don't think it's meant to be in a planner. I think it's meant like for journaling, but I just, I punched holes in it and I just love, love how it adds to um, my planner. This here is 411 meeting checklist. Um, just so when I do my 411s with my team each month, I have it all here. 
Um, this contacts sheet came from the Paper Test Designs and Hay Planner Girl collab. Again, the um, home management, but this also suits business for business contacts. Made this on Canva to track notes from 411 meeting. Um, this is from Paper Test Designs. It's a printable. And I like these sheets too. They're very simple. You just check off what you know what this is of the idea, meeting, project, sketch, research, review, list, etc., and put the date. Um, but because this is like an ongoing list, I didn't put a date. These are just ideas as they come to me. Okay, and this is again from Paper Tests. So my my coaching notes I keep in here. Uh, this is from Jane's Agenda, a page finder with the gold, rose gold or gold. No, it's just regular gold font it, it is wider and had it in my com, uh, classic so I trimmed it um, and then repunched it so it's smaller but I really wanted to have one of these in here and I don't know that she sells these anymore um, I think which is why I did this so I couldn't buy another one okay so note paper this is from pen paper and plans this is called um, vintage newsprint rose dashboards that's what this is and they're just so gorgeous. Okay, made this on Canva. This is my goal section. This came in a scrapbook paper pad. I love the vintage typewriter. You can do it. It just fits fits my vintage theme here. Um, these sticky notes came from Jane's Agenda. Love these flowers. I believe they came in the August one. Okay, and then my quarterly goal planning sheets. Um, I made this off of Canva. Okay, this came in the October themed subscription box from Jane's Agenda. More paper test designs, printables. This is another etched dashboard from um, Crafty Brina with the flowers. I don't know if you can see that. Love that. And this is paper, um, pen, paper, goodness. Pen, paper, and plans. And this is one of the, the uh, rose dashboards. Made this on Canva. I get asked about this every single time I post a video or a picture. I get asked about this. And isn't it just so gorgeous? It is, uh, it's, it's an image you can find on Canva and I just made it myself on Canva. And these are sticky notes that came. The craft kind of sticky notes came in a Jane's Agenda subscription box. And that's my husband writing writing me a cute little note and then this little pouch came from pen paper and plans and I had cute little um cards not cards but um oh gosh yeah I guess you could kind of say cards and I just figured I'd use it for stickers until it you know is so used and maybe the holes I might have to get reinforcements for that because it's very very thin but I just love the, the the clear with the white polka dots and then these are from papery planning minimal scripts more of these paper panda these are my favorite love these colors dot stickers these are from sweet caress designs and then this was from Jane's agenda subscription box rise and shine I don't remember which box so I like to have cute little cards around my planner as I go. So I put all of the stickers in facing one way and then I have this facing the other way. That way I get something pretty to look at both, both ways. This is from Jane's Agenda. This is the um, vintage newspaper print with the white font. She also has it with black font um, and this you know what's interesting, you guys, is that I swear I ordered this a long time ago. And I swear it was personal wide, but I've been on her site since and she does not have personal wide. I reached out and they said B6 would be their closest. They do not offer personal wide. Personal wide. I'm like, I've ordered personal wide. So I don't know. It is just slightly narrow, like just slight, like tiny, tiny, tiny bit. So I don't know. We know that personal is very narrow. So I'm not even sure what size this is. But anyways, it's gorgeous. I love it. This card here. I keep calling it a card. It's a vintage, the Regency Garden Vintage Deco Set from Pen, Paper, and Plans. And these came in this. That's what I was trying to explain to you. When these came in my order, there was three of them. And they came in this little pouch. 
So I just put that in here. I like how you can just faintly see it through the dashboard. This came from that Amazon vintage paper set. So did this, vellum. And then this here is from Roro Designs, R-H-O-R-O. -O. So I got the 2022 overview. This I made myself, my 2023 year at a glance, made it on Canva. And then my future log I made on Canva as well. This is for 2023. I put this in here now because as things get start to get planned for the first quarter, I'd like to have somewhere to put them. September, Jane's Agenda subscription box. This is the tour card on the back. It tells you what's in the box, but I just put tissue paper over it. I just ugh, like obsessed with these peonies and the colors. And it totally matched this, which I made this before I got my box. So it was just perfect. So I made my... Um, inserts on Canva. These are, I've since redone them, redid them for all of 2023 and they are, they don't look like this anymore. So I'm making my own inserts for 2023. I'm going to be staying in the, the personal wide and I have no intention of buying inserts. I'm making all my own. So this is just me sort of making them, playing around with them, beta testing them to see what works, what doesn't work subscription box for October this came in the subscription box as well we got one for October November and December and um, again they were for half letter but I trimmed them down to put in here because I'm not using my half letter for planning okay this cute little page flag I guess you would call it it's from crafty Brina so I have a daily monthly and weekly one And my November, there's the November. And December. Okay, and my day on one page inserts, which I make, again, made it, making myself on Canva. And so far so good. I'm really liking this layout. This came, um, I, bo I bought this actually from Jane's Agenda. This is the, they call it like a hybrid dashboard because it's not a full dashboard. Um, yeah. And you can get it to say inbox or today. I chose today because I wanted it on my 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 dashboard um, at the start of my week of my dailies um, because I look at this every day. My tasks, my habits, routines. Okay, but that's so pretty. The gold. This is new, so they do still have this. I do have a code for Jane's Agenda. If it's your first time purchasing, it does not work on the subscription boxes, but it does work on um, anything else. Okay, these are from Franklin Planner. They are the progressive task lists and I use them as a compass card because I can highlight them and have them match. I like the soft colors. Okay, and then my week at a glance. Again, I made these myself on Canva. So I like my weekly layout to time block my week and get an idea of when I'm gonna like around my appointments, get my lead gen in. This is the Sterling Inc. subscription kit. This was for October. So I thought that paired really well with this. Made this on Canva. My brain dump and notes section. These are those sticky notes from Jane's Agenda. Came in a subscription box. This is that vintage paper set from Amazon. So it has some vellum and I love this. I figured this was perfect for my note section because it's specimens of handwriting and it shows you, um, so it shows you here as given in this book and Ga Gaskell's compendium. These are selected from hundreds of others, old style and then new style. So it's showing you the old style and the new style. I just thought that was so cool. Does it tell you the year? don't know if it does but just so cool post office addresses like just look at that eh and it's too bad they don't teach cursive in school anymore my son who's 20 he did not learn cursive my daughter did she's she'll be 25 next week but my son did not learn cursive and it's a damn shame in my opinion all right so these are from paper test designs printables cloth and paper executive style note taking so I just have a few of those in there for when I need them. And then uh, SM Plans note paper. I missed trimmed, so they're a little bit more narrow. 
um, has some plans. This is the grid. Hopefully you can see that. That's the grid one. The grid is my favorite. Oh, aren't these beautiful? These aren't her new fall florals. She does have a new fall florals, um, um, like note-taking inserts pages, but I didn't get those. Like I still have so many I haven't gone through. These are just gorgeous. All right, project section. Made that on Canva. This here, the sticky note came in my October theme sub box from Jane's Agenda. We got a whole bunch of them, so I just took some off what it came on and just put some in here. Carry with me. This plastic thing came in my Hobonichi Weeks. Um, so I just took it out and I'm reusing it to keep put, um, sticky notes on. Sterling Ink. This did not come in a subscription kit. I ordered this separately on her site. I just love the black and white. Oh, like I cannot get enough of that. Um, vintage paper set on Amazon. Master Project List. Made this on Canva. Project Planner insert. Again, I made that on Canva. This is from Calixta Creations. I will link her below. What I love about her is she is Canadian and she is in the GTA, the Greater Toronto Area, not that far from me. And um, she's a lawyer, like total boss babe. Love her. And I love her stuff. And it's like handmade. It's, this is the rose. So pretty. So I have that M in my project section on the project that I'm currently working on. Um, this is again for Jane's Agenda, just um, stuff to print. So I am working on a planner side hustle business. It's like, it's not something I'm going to be starting right away. Pro I might, my goal is like by probably quarter three of next year. I've got a lot of work to do, but um, yeah, anyways, that's another video for another time. But this is like all the inserts that I want to print out and make, sorry, make and print out. Um, just making notes on different planner sizes, ideas, just tons of ideas, just projects I'm working on. And then I'm working on a side hustle idea for real estate. So these are from cloth and paper, the executive style note taking, um, inserts. And then these are from SM plans. These are her hat. What do you call these? Half page half page. So I just have a few back here for, I haven't used them yet, but I was thinking, you know what, this would be good for like, you know, groceries, like next time you go to do groceries and run errands just to have a running list and then I can just take this out and head into the store. So that's the idea with those. This is from Franklin um, Planner and this is the expense envelope. So I keep that at the back and this is when I'm out and about, this is where we keep our receipts that we, some of them are for work, some of them are just personal and you wanna keep receipts for a while in case you need to return something. That way we know where they are. My husband will give me the receipts uh, or if I make the purchase, I have the receipt and they all go in there and then we review them together. And then this clear um, page lifter is from Tanya Plans. So I love that she sells these separately outside of her binders and they are really good quality. They're very thick. Um, this, what do you call this? It, uh, adhesive pocket thingy. God, words are hard for me today. Uh, is from Cloth and Paper. I love these. Adhesive pockets, maybe that's what, yeah, I think that's what they're called. I will show you. This is what they look like. They come like this, and they're very inexpensive. They're repositionable too. I've moved them from planner to planner, depending on what you put them on. I haven't tried repositioning them if they were on paper. I always put them on something like this. And yeah, I can take them off and put them on another planner, but that's what they look like. Love them. Okay, and then I took this picture, um, this Fuji film. This is the Insta, Inst Instax. There we go. Polaroid. This is of um, my girls' weekend. And then a picture of me and my hubby um, having a little smooch while we're watching the full moon at the beach. This ruler, I will link below. It's from Design Works. Comes in three colors. You know me, I love pink. This is nothing. That's a requisition for blood work I need to get done. Uh, October little journaling card. It came in the subscription box. You get one every month with Jane's Agenda. Let's have that back there for a quick reference. And then these are from Walmart. 
to do today goals. I don't use them all the time, but it's nice to have them there for when I do need them. Okay, and this pen is, I bought this at, during my planner conference weekend at cloth, no, paper and cloth is the store. It's in Toronto, downtown Toronto. It is the Platinum Playster, P-L-A-I-S-T-R. Oh, look at this color. It's just gorgeous. It's a fountain pen. And it writes so nice. So even though it's not like a fall color, it just really matches matches my planner. So that is my flip for my how my binder it was set up for the month of October and pretty much the guts of this were the same in September as well. Um, nothing really will be changing for um, as far as the guts of it for November. I will be doing um, a setup. I, I think I'll film it um, with my new goodies from my uh, November themed subscription box from Jane's Agenda. So stay tuned for that. If you have any questions at all, let me know. Like I said, I will link as much as I can. If, if, if there's something that you're curious about that's not linked, it's likely because um, I don't remember or you know, maybe it's not available anymore or it's not applicable anymore or something along those lines. But definitely still reach out and ask me about it and I'll see what I can do for you. Okay, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.